fucking shit when it okay. comes to actually being able to go. You know, I mean, because if, if you would take, I mean, like we were talking earlier, if you take Ronnie Coleman or Jay Cutler and put them in a ring, they're going to get smoked. They're going to get beat by almost everybody. Yeah. Because well, they you remember Lex Luger, though. Right, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I and, mean, that's, you know. Like, it's right, a prime and, example. You know, he, and you know what? What, what? Wrestling in this day and time is not about the talent anymore. It's about marketing. You know, you can take right, a city wrestling. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the guy. He's a pretty cool dude, honestly. Uh, but John Cena, you know, great entertainer, but not a very good wrestler. Right. Dave, yeah, he had way. to be a good guy. I, I he a, had to be a good guy because he still has a spot, but no one wants to see him. <coughs> well, nobody what? No one wants to actually see him, but he still has a spot. <coughs> well, the only reason nobody wants to see him is because he's shoved down the people's throats every single week. I mean, think about it. Right. When you watch C N A you watch Jeff Jarrett every single fucking week. Did you not say what the fuck? Oh, you know, yeah. this, he's not a good oh, wrestler. No, he's not a we good did. entertainer, so why is he here? You know, but at least John Cena has uh, you know, a personality and John Cena's an entertainer. Jeff Jarrett wasn't. Right. right, exactly. Can I ask you one thing too also? Um okay, so a lot of wrestling fans are virgins and, and marks and dorks and shit. But do you think that they're any worse than Loki, or do you think Loki is probably the biggest mark? Oh, no, no, no. Who, Loki? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think he's a mark for himself. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, crazy how much of a fucking, like, like really, Loki? <laughs> yeah, I, really, I, well. I like his work. But he's had great. To he's and I had to yeah, shit his if you hear him talk, it's like, wow, dude, come on, man, you know. Well, I had to, low-key, you know, I, I wrestled that fucker a few times. Good guy now, but back in the day, whenever he was getting in, um, you know, he, he was, like, running over people, you know, stiffing people, but they were cowards, and they didn't, you know, they just took it and didn't say anything. But you know, he gets in the ring with me and stuff, a guy that, you know, has absolute joy in, in, like, having a good, rough wrestling match, especially when a younger kid wants to, like, buck up to the system. Nothing I love more than that because I can show a younger guy how to fucking get his ass beat and get embarrassed and make his shit look like a, like it was that just that shit, you know, and then me still walking out looking like a fucking, you know, fucking rose. You know, and that, that, a lot of these guys don't know yet, you know. They don't know this shit, you know. They just think a high spot is what people want to see, you know. But I can take that high spot step right out of fucking way. If you miss it, you're the one that fucked up, not me, you know. That's why to you the crowd. <laughs> hey, hey, hey say, we, we got limited time. Let's do this UFC thing real quick. Yeah. That's right. what I, wanted to get to. I wanted to get to it if Violence, if Violence Check wasn't fucking busy with his Mark questions. <laughs> I wanted to get to some fucking fighting before we got to get the fuck out of here. We got fucking like five minutes to get to the... To, this, uh, to some UFC questions. First of all, I want to know, I mean, obviously you must know that there's so much backlash on Brock Lesnar for being an ex-pro wrestler in, in uh, the UFC, and now he's their champ. And then you've got all these fucking other guys. I mean, like half of the fucking uh, guys that came out of Japan are all fucking ex-pro wrestlers. What do you, what, I mean, do you got something to say to these fucking, uh, these fucking nerds? Because like, you've got the pro wrestling nerds, and then you have, like, the fucking MMA nerds. Like, at some point they had a split where, like, the MMA guys just fucking, like, were, wow, we got to keep this pure. We couldn't have any, you know what I mean? Like, uh, we couldn't have any guys coming from uh, pro wrestling into MMA. Even though MMA started from pro wrestling, they have no fucking concept of this. Well, the I mean? part of what a lot of the people don't know is that you get into a real – wrestling match with somebody that's like aggressive like me, myself uh you put like me and chris benoit back in the day when he was you know like in his prime you know you put two of us and, and you get us in the damn ring together uh all those moves are real okay all those fucking suplexes on your head are real all those holds are real the only difference is is that you're on national television it is a choreographed storyline based you know entertainment so you can't go out there killing everybody but it doesn't mean that the dude putting it on ain't a badass. He can't handle himself. I grew up in Virginia, dude, and I grew up in the country. We used to fight in the churchyard down below my house just for entertainment, you know. 
Uh, there's a lot of these new guys that are coming out here that, you know, you can't you can't be rough with because they don't like it. You know, it hurts and stuff like that. You know, so. Well, let me, well, let me ask you, know, you about the MMA this, world. This, upcoming, this upcoming fight then. Do you, you see, uh, you see uh, Brock Lesnar and Shane Carwin. You see these two guys. Shane Carwin's a little bit smaller than Brock Lesnar. Probably, what, uh, 20, 25 pounds smaller probably than Brock Lesnar. But they're fucking promoting them as if they're, Completely equally titanic and humongous, but Brock Lesnar's probably going to come in at about 280, 285 to the fight after he cuts. Shane yeah. Carwin might come in at come in at 265 after the after. Well, he, probably yeah, usually, to, he, he, he probably won't even need to cut. But you well, know, usually you have cut, to cut days in be you know uh, two days after the weigh in, you know before your fight. So as long as you weigh in at that weight, it don't matter what what weight you come in in the fight. You know, so if he's smart, which he I would say he is. Let me tell you something. Brock Lesnar is a fucking real deal dude. I mean, he is big. You know, I've been in the dressing room with this guy. You know what I'm saying? If you're ever standing beside him, this motherfucker is huge, dude. And when he grabs a hold of you, he's a world-class fucking wrestler. You know what I'm saying? This guy, I've seen him put fucking Kurt Angle on his back before. You know what I'm saying? While they were just playing around in the ring, you know, before a show. Absolutely. I mean, he's a real right. deal. We're talking about hey, so, Angle, so Olympic so so basically, you're you're saying you're saying Brock Lesnar is definitely beating uh, Shane Carwin. You think he pretty much has an advantage over everybody uh, until he doesn't well, want to have an advantage. Well, the big advantage of him is that motherfucker is as strong as a fucking tank, and for his size, he don't. I don't know too many people that can move for that guy. You know, for the size of that dude. I mean, he is a legit athlete. So there's a lot of guys out there that say they're athletes, but. When it all comes down to it, Brock Lesnar is a true athlete. I, and I agree think just, with you. I agree. And uh, I, in the you, MMA this, world, it's just feelings because they, they don't want to believe that a, a former WWE superstar can walk into their organization and take away the heavyweight title. That just hurts their feelings. Own. He's still a right. time NCAA champion, which means a lot. It's the same thing. When I go out to these fucking fights, I've been, we do these, these post-fucking interviews and shit. Always that little motherfucker right across the table. First thing they want to say is, this ain't pro wrestling, Kit Cash. You know, I had one motherfucker wear a mask to the fucking ring. And you know what I did? Uh, I, a lot I, of other guys. You, you, know, you just, whipped his ass for it, right? I mean, uh, you I beat that thing. motherfucker senseless because of the fact that he wouldn't insult me like that. You know, he don't know my business. He doesn't, you know, I don't get out here and I don't get on the radio and I don't get on the magazine. I don't brag about my MMA background. People just know it, you know. Uh, they've either seen it or they've heard about it. I don't. I'm not like that. I don't get out there. Wrestling is separate in my eyes than than the MMA. But I make you money. Have guys, you have guys like uh, uh, Mayhem Miller and uh, Josh Barnett and fucking. Uh, you have guys like um, uh, Sakuraba. They all come out and they're they're obviously pro wrestlers. They say, "Hey, pro wrestling, we're fucking here for pro wrestling. We're fucking representing pro wrestling." And then they fucking beat everyone's fucking ass, and it's fantastic, and it's just, you know, it's the greatest fucking thing. But let me, uh, yeah. let me ask you this, and I think that you could be the same kind of a guy, because uh, like, like I was saying with the Ring of Honor thing, you, you definitely have a place in Ring of Honor, you definitely have a place in MMA, as far as, if nothing else, on, the fuck, on, a lo on local shows, you've got a name, you're famous, everyone would want to see you fucking fight, no doubt about it, you, you know, because people just want to see people they know fight. It's an obvious fucking thing. And, well, uh, problem, you know. This is my biggest problem, okay? Right now, you know, honestly, it, it, you know, my agents, you know, I got two agents. We're working on it. We've been working on it for like the last year and a half. Uh, my problem is I'm not fucking Brock Lesnar size. I'm, I'm only five foot fucking nine and a half. I'm only, you know, 180 pounds. I fight at 170. You know, but I'm bigger right. than most of the seventies, you know. So I'm not gonna be like the big story, you know, that these other guys are. So, you know, I mean I, what I'm doing is I'm doing my own thing. I'm out here fighting my fights when I wanna fight and I'm gradually, you know, making making noise, you know, to where somebody sooner or later is gonna be like, you know what? This guy's not bragging. He's out here really fighting and he's really fucking doing the right thing. I'm not trying to but shove wrestling down somebody's throat. I'm not trying to live off of my WWE stardom. Nothing like that. I'm trying to be me and I'm trying to be who I am. When I fight, right, I don't fight kid, as kid. Let me ask you I, this. Let me ask you this though. Let me ask you this though. There, there, there's King of the Cage that does a does a monthly pay per view 
It's a tape thing. I'm sure.